if, if you're going to summarize one of the key points of the Common Core and by extension the PA Core standards, the idea that reading is a subject that is taught exclusively and reading has to go away. We have to start to get ourselves past that. So for a math teacher now, there really needs to be a consideration about what does literacy mean in mathematics. What we wanted to do today, since pretty much everybody in, in our secondary schools at some point during today is engaging in this idea of literacy and looking at a really specific practice of uh, centers, uh, center based instruction as a way to promote literacy in the classroom, we wanted to design a session that really focuses on math for math teachers. I want you to just for a second think about the term mathematical literacy. What does it mean to you? There are phenomenal rote learners who can watch technique and, and watch go through it. Are they mathematically literate? Do they really know what they're doing, why they're doing what it is they're doing? What connections are they trying to make there? Or have they just learned that if I do this, I can imagine? I think what you're going to see through the process today is an attempt to get you to look at a question a number of different ways, gather evidence while you're doing it, and use that to form an argument. So hopefully one of the, the standards of mathematical practices that you'll walk away from this session really thinking about is how can I get my students to use quantitative mathematical thinking to help justify their arguments to provide evidence for their arguments. I wanted to, uh, to tweak them a little bit and to give our math teachers an experience in, in this, uh, this literacy center approach um, and really trying to put them in the role of student today and, and engage them in the process in the way that a student might engage so that they can see this particular strategy, a centers-based approach, how, how it can increase student understanding, evidence gathering, and, and in a broader sense, literacy in, in their content area. I want to use this as our guiding question for today's work. Are Americans bad at math? The purpose in asking that question, and again, there's no agenda today, it's a complicated question. It's a question that I, I hope you realize defies a simple yes or no answer. So what I'm going to ask you to engage in for the next hour or so is different stations approach. We'll take a look at some different articles and texts and videos that will provide some information for you and some basis on which you might start to refine your answer to the question. We have a statistics station where there's a few uh, magazine articles that are really kind of written around some statistical information that relates to the question. It's usually um, the surveys that they're using today are, uh, there's one about Americans' uh, attitudes towards mathematics, just a survey of how people view math. There's another one that looks at some of the international test results. Uh, and provide some statistical information about how Americans are doing relative to other countries. So there's a few articles that just provide some statistical information. So they're really asked to kind of view this through a statistics lens of literacy. Um, there's another station that, that asks them to do what we call a paired reading. And in this particular example, there, is a two, there are two opinion pieces that are designed to be read together. The particular opinion pieces today, one says, I think international mathematics tests are really important and we should be paying attention to them. And the other basically says, I don't think international mathematics tests are very important and we shouldn't be paying any attention to them. But we're asking students to do kind of a compare and contrast with, um, with those two. And so there's, there's information and evidence from two different viewpoints that, that kind of go together. There's a film center where we're asking students to view some, some talks that people have given about mathematical education. And again, it's along a range of topics. Some of them are focused on mathematical education. Some of them are focused on the economy, but this broader theme of, of you know, math and, and Americans. And so that's a film study station. Behind us, we have some folks doing what's called a writing round. There's some, uh, some uh, articles that, that kind of speak a little bit to the question of the day. And what uh, folks are asked to do at the station is to read the articles and actually to write on the posters with pen. So it creates kind of a record as students work through the stations of questions and thoughts that other people have had. Um, typically raises more questions than it answers, but what you're doing is you're engaging in the text and then you're leaving a kind of little bit of evidence for students to come along about how you saw it or how you engaged it. So as we work through this more and more as the students come through, they see not just the article, but the thinking of others who have read the article. Uh, and then finally, there's a long read session where there are two kind of, well, they're longer articles. They run about 18, 20 pages in length. They do a more in-depth analysis that speaks to the kind of question that we asked you today, uh, spoke to today. So whereas most of the interactions are more shorter in nature, this is a, a longer interaction with a single piece of text.
Walk away from here with an idea about how to take the center approach and transfer it to classroom content that might look a little bit more like what you're teaching. So I want the math teachers and the BCIT teachers in the room right now to experience this literacy stations focused approach to, to promoting literacy in the classroom in the same way that their colleagues are experiencing it. So it's a very experiential thing today. And then the second goal for today would be to take this experience of them as a learner and start to talk a little bit about how we might translate that into the kind of content that they might normally be doing in the course of a mathematics lesson.